Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am providing you a format for bar bending schedule. In the last video, I have explained you how to calculate lengths of different shapes of bar. The different shapes of bar are as straight bars, this is both side L bars, so these are the bottom bars. For steel, for beam, we use these are the stirrups, these are the L-shaped bar, these are the Z-shaped bar, these are the crank bars, crank bars are used in the slab, these are the chairs, hooks and top bent bars. So both side L bars. Then here in preparing the bar bending schedule, we require this type of format. This is name of project prepared by, checked by location level then structure then drawing number then here date so columns are serial number member member may be footing in footing x direction bars y direction bar soft footing jali then column for column vertical bars and stirrups for beam top bars bottom bars curtail bars stirrups if slab is one way then bent up bars, distribution bars, chairs, slab is two way, bent up bars in x direction, bent up bars in y direction, chairs, straight bars, staircase, main bars, distribution steel, extra bars and you can add anything more. Then shape of bar, shape of bar as I already explained, then bar mark, then diameter of bar, then these are the uh, dimensions of bar in meter A, B, C, D, E, F and if we add this we will get the cut length of bar so here in the shape we will see this is A A B C A B C D E F so A B A B C different shapes so this is Z shape so this one is A this one is B this one is C same way we can apply for different shapes so we calculate these lengths we add it will directly get so if after some time if somebody sees this bar bending schedule so you should understand easily so that's why this differentiation is there a b c d if you add this you will get the cut length then number of members if you are computing this for footing x direction bars so these are maybe a straight bars it may comes only a so number of members then bars per member here and here we will get the total number of bars and here we are converting the total cutting length of bars in meter so as you know in earlier video i have explained how to convert meter per meter length of bar into the kg so total length of bars in meter here we are getting bars in meter length in meter total length in meter and then we can convert this length into the kg and we will get the quantity of steel required for 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm diameter bars. These are the diameters of bar. So here we have written which diameter of bar is used and this way we can add here formulas. In the next video I am explaining or I am showing you how to prepare barn bending schedule for any building project so that time i am preparing this so i will create that video and as soon as i will upload the same so till then you watch this and watch the channel for more fruitful videos and informative videos so this way you can this is the format by which you can prepare the bar bending schedule and in earlier video i have explained what are the different shapes and how to calculate the length of that shapes and in the earlier video also i have explained i am giving you here in this video these links link of that videos so that you can easily get the information so thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share the video and subscribe the channel